Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, baggies. Uh. Hello guys, um, welcome back to Jessica B, um, which is me. Today I am going to be doing a story time. So basically I'm going to be doing a story time today guys on how my husband proposed to me and um, yeah, you might just want to, I don't know, just cancel all your plans because I'm going to be talking. I mean it was the 23rd because I remember it was the day before Christmas Eve. And um, the night before, we had really bad winds, we had really bad rain in Britain. He called me and he was like, oh, um, do, you wanna, do you wanna go on the cable cars? And in Britain we have these this attraction that takes you from one place to another and the cable cars kind of like just go over there like little spaceship things. What, what confused me the most was that um, it was like midnight and I was like, you know when you're like, hello, like, he was like, oh yeah, hey babe, um, do you want to go on the cable cars tomorrow evening for a date? And I'm like, what the hell? Bearing in mind, okay, it was midnight. So I was like, okay, so how did your manager just authorise you to just be able to take me out on a date tomorrow? Aren't you working? He was like, yeah, I spoke to my manager. She said it's all good. It's all fine. You know, we can go. So I'm just like, okay, right. When did you call your manager at midnight and decide? And she decided. But you know what? Them just things in your head. You're just like, what the hell? And then when I came off the phone, I was like, how would this? You know, I was. Just, everything was going through my mind. And then the next day, I wasn't very well. Um, I didn't really like my job at the time, so I was kind of like not well, but just couldn't be bothered. I was off sick that day, and then came to the evening. I remember Dylan said he wanted to go on this date on the cable cars, and I was just like, oh. But he called me, and he was like, oh, you know what, babe? Because of the weather. Um, they've cancelled the cable car and then he was like why don't we just go for a meal or something I was like yeah that's fine that's fine so um, it got to around five or something and he called me and he was like oh babe meet me at Costa Coffee and you know I'll we'll go from there I was like okay it was cold though like and my hair was at these times like I had red hair and it was in like a slick bum but obviously the gel just did not withhold my life and it was all frizzy like I just looked like a tramp I've gone to Costa now dragged myself out I was just like bleh I'm pretty sure I was on my period or something like it was just like one of them days where you just wanted to cry like everything so we've gone now I've gone to Costa where's Dylan called him hey babe where are you oh sorry I'm not at Costa I'm at McDonald's and I was just like oh. if there's anything you guys should know about me I hate like meeting someone somewhere and they're not there and then they're like oh I'm here oh can you meet me there like no you told me to meet me here so I'm meeting you here like what's wrong with you ages and it was cold and it was raining like you do not keep a girl out in the rain oh my gosh I was waiting outside the shop now and a car pulled up and my friend from church was in it and he was like oh hey Jay. and I was just like and then I looked in and Dylan was in the car I was like what the hell were you doing in the car oh my gosh so you've been in luxury while I've been standing in this cold catching pneumonia like then we got out, got there, and he was like, my, the friend from church, he was like, oh, have a nice time, Jess. And he was like, and I was like, okay. Got to a restaurant called, I think it was Frankie and Ben, no, it wasn't Frankie and Benny's. And Dylan took off his jacket, and he was wearing a shirt that I bought him. Uh, and I was, I think it was like an Emporio Armani shirt or something. I don't know, but I was like, what? I've known Dylan for like five years, five or six or whatever years, like, he has never worn a shirt ever. Apart from church, Dylan, you will not catch him in a shirt. So I was just like, okay, this is weird. And you know, like, lots of times me and Dylan have gone out and I thought like, oh, maybe today's the day, like, maybe this is it, well, he's gonna propose to me. And I thought, mm. but then he hasn't. So, I mean, this is going on for time. And sometimes he used to prank me, like, and pretend that he was and he wasn't, like, that's just not funny whatever so that was in the back of my mind but then that little voice was just like nah Jess like look how many times you've been out with him and it's never happened so why would today be any different sat in the restaurant and they sat us next to another black couple and you know when you're next to another black couple and it's just like uh, black couple competition like who's the better black couple conversation kind of turned to marriage and stuff like that and it kind of turned into like some heated disagreement like I thought oh my gosh he's a boy we were like heavily loudly talking he's like oh you don't force me to get married to you but i know we've been dating for a long time rah, rah, rah. but in my own time i'll do it everyone else is doing it now but does that mean we have to do it blah, 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 blah. and i was just sitting there like so awkward and the couple next to us were just like mm -hmm. 
we are the better black couple. <laughs> like, they won, hands down. Um, so yeah, and then like, he literally was shouting at me, and they went back to normal mode, and he was like, oh, I'm glad you understand that, babe. And I was just like, yeah, we carried on with the meal and it was weird because I was texting my mum and my mum wouldn't pick up her phone and I was trying to call her and stuff and she wasn't picking up and that's really unusual because my mum's like cray cray. She'll be calling me like, Jess, where are you? Jess, blah, 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 blah. Like all these questions, she would just keep going on and on. Mum wasn't answering her calls. No one was like texting me or anything. I mean, I know I'm not that popular, but come on now, like one text would be nice. So yeah, that was a bit strange. But anyways, brushed it off and then... um. We went to see a film and it was late, it was like 10.30 by now, we went to see a late night film um, at, in the complex that we were in. I was just like ha ha ha, you know, just you know, the night kind of was a bit fuddy duddy, it was a bit but the film kind of brightened it up and then we left the film and I'm not even joking, the wind was like a hurricane wind. I was being blown all over the place, my hair was like all on my face, it was, I was a hot mess like. And I just thought, oh gosh, I just really want to go home now, like, this night is just long. And then Dylan was all like, oh babe, I want to show you my favourite spot. And I was thinking, what the hell? It's like 11.30, like, can you just end this misery, please? But anyways, I let him take me there and it was like this tunnel full of lights. And I don't know if I can get a good picture, but probably not. <clears throat> but in Greenwich there's a tunnel and it's like full of lights, it's really pretty. And you walk through it and there's like a river. So you got to the end of the tunnel and Dylan was like, oh... Babe, this is my favourite spot. And I was just like, Dylan, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. Oh yeah, well, this is where I come, like, when I think about things, I'm just like, okay. Well, I can't see anything. Can we just go home now? And I think he could tell I was just, I'd given up, really. I was just like, this day has been really weird. I've not been well. You've been making me chase you everywhere. Then we drive to Greenwich, have some meal. You shout at me, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, yeah, I need to go home now. Like, it's late. I've got work tomorrow. I didn't even know I was out gallivanting. Like, I didn't have work the next day. Like, really and truly. I was just kind of like walking, blah, blah, blah. And I realised that Dylan wasn't behind me. And I was like, what the? where is this guy like what is he doing and i turned around <laughs> and he was down on one knee and i was like oh my gosh like you know when because it was such a horrendous night like with all this shenanigans driving up to greenwich and all this stuff i was like literally like this night has been the worst night ever everything has not made sense you've been shouting at me we've been Blah, 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 like, I genuinely thought, like, what's our relationship going to be after this date? Like, I haven't given you all the details, but the argument was a lot, like, and it was just kind of a miserable day, and he was down on one knee in a puddle, and I was just like, I literally was like, Oh, Dylan, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was literally crying, like, I had booger snots coming out my nose, bubble snots, I was crying, like, hysterically. I really don't remember what he said, but it was something along the lines of Jessica, I've known you for so long, how many years, your love of my life, blah blah blah. But they got it right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, dang, dang right. And then I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just apologising for the whole night because I've been kind of a bit, to be honest, like my attitude is all wrong, like, but he still continued with the evening. And he was like, just say yes. He was like shaking me, he was like, just say yes, Jess, will you marry me? Will you marry me? And I was like, oh, 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 oh. But I did say yes, I think like 10 minutes after, because I just couldn't believe it. And I was like, oh my God. And he gave me this beautiful ring. I'll just take it off. That was my engagement ring. But it's pretty big and it's pretty thick. Like, it's like the same width as my eye. It's a beautiful, beautiful ring. It was like the best. I mean, it was like unconventional. Like we always have in our minds, like what we want our engagement to be like. <clears throat> I think that was the best one because he genuinely didn't know when he was going to do it. He was going to put it off until like Christmas Day or something. But he was like, at last minute, he was like, let me just do it now. Don't give up. I mean, if it's of God, God will, God will come for it. It might be years, it might be months. But obviously, keep it pure and don't drag it out too long. And if the guy is not serious and he just wants to be your, your bae for 10 years, then it needs to be locked off. That was my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check out my other videos, all these lovely things I've got going on on my channel, vlogs, vlogmas, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, peace guys. I hope you have a nice day wherever you are. Bye.